tell us about your very first high school coaching job. Uh, first high school coaching job was in Jackson. Um, I've been assistant coach for Kareem Thomason for three years. I worked at the uh, middle school and worked with that group of kids that came up uh, and worked with them through freshmen and JV. And then uh, when Coach Thomason uh, moved on, then uh, I applied for the job and took that over. And, uh, you know, I think we went 4-18, and 18, you know. It's a bunch of girls that I'd coached all the way up, and uh, we thought we'd be better than we were. And um, the, the best part of that group of kids, though, is uh, – the six seniors, I've been to all six of their weddings, you know, invited to all those things. So it kind of started there, and that's where I kind of learned about the importance of the relationship piece, of, you know, as I worked with those kids. And, uh, you know, um, as I've gotten older, what I wish is I knew now, you know, back then, mm -hmm. you know, just, just the knowledge of the game, you know, how to navigate uh, certain X's and O's. Uh, relationships still relationships, but... Uh, the uh, simplicity of the game back then that you know because I was very simple as a coach uh, probably need a little bit more X's and O's back then to make them a little bit more successful than they were but uh, um, it was you know it's 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 where it all started fell in love with you know coaching and the, and the kids and uh, stayed with it for 32 years 33 years Does, no matter what the sport has coaching changed since you started you know I I, I don't I don't no, you know, because I haven't left it, you know. So, so um, the part that's changed for me is um, the amount of time in the off season that we're putting in now. Back then, uh, when we started, our kids were multi-sport athletes, mm -hmm. and over the years, we, for some reason, we think we need to specialize, and so there's so much pressure on us to put on so many opportunities for kids outside of season, where before they'd go to volleyball, you know, and then to basketball, and then to track. Or, you know, we didn't have soccer when I started. And now you know we got soccer. Now we've got lacrosse and everything else. And so I'd say the biggest thing is, is kids are pushed to specialize. And uh, you know I'm not a believer in that. Mm -hmm. You know so um, but you know because I coach three sports. All, you know it, but uh, I'd say that's where it's changed the most is just the kids wanting to focus on one sport as opposed to others. Parents are still parents. You know their job is to stick up for kids and fight for the kids. Who's got, you know if they don't do it, who's going to do it? You know um, but. Uh, no, I'd say that was the biggest change. How gratifying is it to, to coach state champions? Um, you, sh you really appreciate it. You know, I, I've coached a lot of teams. I've had three seasons, you know, where we never won a game. Mm -hmm. You know, so we've, you know, we're on a streak right now of, of struggling a little bit. But uh, um, just having everything come together. You know, good coaches, um, you, know, they, you know, I get an award tonight, whatever else. But I can tell you that uh, the good teams had good players. You know, they had good athletes. They did a lot of things right. Um, the one year, the first year we won at Wheatland was undefeated the whole season mm -hmm. and got knocked off at regionals, you know. And then and that just opened the door. It changes the seedings for things, and, and we were able to win the thing. And, and, and so it takes a lot of luck as well, you know. Uh, um, but uh, I really do appreciate those teams because, you know, success, um, the one thing it has done is parents tend to, st uh, tend to stay a little bit more in touch. Kids stay in touch more. And... Uh, uh, but uh, the great teams, you know, that, those are the glory years of coaching for me is, you know, when we did have state championship teams. But, uh, you know, I will tell you, um, a couple of years where we haven't won a game were very gratifying as well because we, we, we reached every bit of potential we had. We just never won a game, mm -hmm. you know, and, and those were some of the best coaching years I had as far as how well I did. It's just you would never see it win loss-wise.